They were the prime force behind the crucifixion. Once Jesus has cleansed the temple from their greediness, and what they was doing was the animals and the money changing. Okay, they were determined to kill Jesus. Okay, he also was asking for forgiveness for them. Amen. And this is people that was from the very beginning wanted to kill him. And he knew that. Amen. The Pharisees as well. They was the first to um, actively plot against Jesus. And what about you and I? What about you and I? Because when he says forgive them for they know not what they do. And he was in so much pain for him to say that. But that was the first word that he said. Because that's the most powerful word. Because that condemns us. That takes us down. Amen. We, need, we don't need that. We need to come to overpower that. We need to overcome that. Amen. But we did take Jesus to the cross. Amen. Because our sins, our corruption, and our pettiness. Amen. Jesus spoke to us well. He told us exactly what to do. As soon as we get away from him, we do what we want to do. Amen. And we know it's not right to do, but we do it anyway. You know, Jesus was dying for after about three hours span. Jesus was in severe pain. He only spoke seven times in a very short phrase. That's how hurt he was. You imagine when we're sick in the bed, sick in the hospital. We don't even want to talk. I don't want to talk to my wife, but I'm sick. I just want to lay there and relax medicine. But you know what? Jesus cried out. Jesus cried out on the dying cross in Calvary with nails stuck in his hands, his feet stretched out wide, blood running everywhere. His body was broken, y'all. His body was broken for us. He became sin for us. Amen. We have to understand that. Okay? How many people know that it is not easy to forgive? It's just not. The Bible says in Luke, if your brother comes to you asking forgiveness, you have to forgive him every time. Now, we always say, what about if they don't come and ask? You still got to forgive them because that's still between them and God. Amen. Now, my wife and I, when we do couples uh, uh, coaching, one question we do ask is they forgive each other. And you know what they say? But you don't know what he did. You have no idea what I've been through, the suffering that he put me through. That's smart. If you do not forgive each other, we cannot start the process of healing. It just doesn't work like that. You cannot skip that part of the process. 